Hello everyone. Today I am going to cover in detail about a very important topic in payment cards. The CVC or the CVV. Basically the card validation code that is present on our payment cards. So what are we going to look in this video? We will cover what is CVC or CVV and what are the various names with which it is called across various schemes. What is the input data used to generate a CVC? and how it is generated. Please note, in this video, the terminology CVC and CVV would be used interchangeably. So what is CVC? It is a unique code that is generated by the issuer used as a security feature. The issuer generates and puts the CVC value which is only verifiable by the issuer. This CVC value is passed to the issuer during an authorization, basically when a transaction is performed, to validate if this transaction is done using a legitimate card. This CVC is called with different names across various schemes. For example, in MasterCard, it is called CVC, a card validation code. In Visa, it is called CVV, a card verification value. In Rupee, it is called CVD, card validation data. In JCB, it is called CAV, card authentication value. It is used for all types of cards, credit, debit, prepaid cards, etc. Usually, the CVC is a three digit value. However, for Amex, it is a four digit called as a card identification code. So let's look at what is CVC. For a given card, there are two CVC values, CVC1 and CVC2. First one is CVC2 which is printed and visible on the back of the card below the magnetic stripe on the right side. This CVC value is used for any manual entry transactions. When I say manual entry transactions, whenever we do a transaction on the e-commerce website, we enter the card number, um, expiry date and CVC value. The CVC value that we enter is the one that is visible on the plastic. So this is called CVC2. The next one is CVC1 which is present inside the magnetic stripe of the card which is not visible for us. The number is not visible to us. It is stored inside the magnetic stripe. This particular data is also referred to as track data inside the magnetic stripe. This is used whenever a card is used in a POS machine using a magnetic stripe interface. We call it a swipe. Since we are talking about the track data. I will briefly show about how a track data looks like. So I said that there are two tracks uh, on a given magnetic stripe. The first one is called track one. Uh, so it contains the card number, the cardholder name, the expiry date, the service code and the CVV one. And the next one is called track two data, which consists of the card number, expiry date, service code, PVV uh, and CVC, CVC1. So let's look at what are the input data required for generating a CVC. The first one is the card number and the second one is the expiry date. The third one is called a service code. Uh, it is covered in the subsequent slide. And lastly, the CVK key. So this is a symmetric key pair that is generated by the issuer and is used by the issuer for generating the CVC and also to validate it. It is unique for every card bin range. Now let's look at what is a service code. Service code is a three digit code that defines the usage of the card. When I say usage, it tells us if the card can be used domestically or internationally. Is it an EMV card or if any restrictions on what type of transactions can be performed. The first byte of the service code defines the usage and the technology. As you can see, if it is one, then it can be used internationally. If it is true, it, it can be used internationally and it is a chip card. And the second digit identifies the processing routes. As you can see, if it is two, then it has to be authorized by the issuer and the transaction should always be online. And the third digit covers the type of transactions that can be done using the card. So one means every kind of transaction can be performed. 
So these are some of the sample service codes like 101 means it is a magnetic stripe international use card, 201 means EMB chip card, 601 means national use EMB chip card etc. These are some of the standard service codes that is mostly used. Now let's look at the generation process for a CVC one. CVC generation is a standard algorithm. One of the important component for generating a CVC is a HSM, a hardware security module. There are various HSMs in the market like Tails, Space Shield, FutureX HSM, etc. HSMs implement all these algorithms for all cryptographic values like CVC1, CVC2, PIN, etc and expose all of them as commands or functions. So when a program or an embosser component wants to generate a CVC1, all these inputs like card number, expiry date, service code, CVK key one are passed by the embosser module to the HSM. HSM then generates CVC1 and sends it back to the calling module. I've just given an example of the commands that are used in HSM like tails HSM, the pay shield HSM uses a command called CW to generate a CVC and a command CY for validating a CVC. So the generation process of CVC2 is also very similar to that of CVC1, just that the key used would be different. So it is the same algorithm, same command, and the data is also the same, but just the CVK key for CVC2 would be different to the top CVC1. Thank you, that completes the video. Uh, I'd be happy to see your feedback or any queries or suggestions. Do like the video if you learned something new from it. Thank you.